Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet the Ocean Shimmer Capelet Cowl. This is a really versatile piece, and as you can see, it's a really tall cowl that you can wear either as a traditional cowl, just kind of scrunched around your neck, or you can, because of its height, you can kind of pull it down around the shoulders and wear it as a really kind of trendy little uh, capelet topper. So if we open it up, you can kind of see it has a really pretty um, mesh and it has a nice drape to it. So it's a very versatile piece and a piece that you can wear uh, for multiple seasons of the year. The finished cowl has a height of about 15 inches and a circumference of 38 inches. So it's a very generously sized cowl. For this project, you'll need an eight millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and your yarn. The yarn I'll be using for this project is called Venice. It's by Skano, and the colorway is called Pacific. It's a pretty kind of teal, sparkly yarn. And I'm gonna be using the whole ball of this. Um, this is 300 yards on that ball. And if you'd like to substitute yarn, um, just use 300 yards of something that is a similar weight to this yarn, or just look on the yarn label for something that recommends uh, an eight millimeter crochet hook. We're going to begin our project by putting a slip knot on our hook. So with your hook and your yarn, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, and bring up a loop, and then just tighten, okay? So our starting chain is 100, so we're gonna make lots of chains, and this is gonna make for a generous sized cowl that you can also kind of pull down over the shoulders to make um, a capelet as well, to keep your shoulders warm. If you'd like to change the size of um, the capelet cowl, simply work more or less chains. If you're making this smaller um, for a child, or if you're very petite, you can make uh, less chains. If you want it to be larger, you can make more chains. There's no special stitch count for this project. Just make sure that when you change the chain count, that it's an even number, because we're going to be um, making this uh, kind of mesh looking stitch. So just make sure it's an even number if you are going to change the, the number of chains that you'll be making. Okay, so again, we're gonna make 100 chains. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 97, 98, 99, and 100, okay? So here is our starting chain, and it's pretty long, so we can see that this is gonna be pretty wide, and it's gonna give a little bit and stretch, okay? So what we're gonna do next is join. So we wanna go down all the way to the end, to that very first chain, and make sure we're not twisting it up too much. I'm gonna go down that very first chain that we worked. So in the chain farthest from the hook, which is this one right here, we're gonna join with a slip stitch, and this is gonna create um, our round, the beginning of our round, okay? So insert the hook into that chain farthest from the hook. Now take your working yarn, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the loop, and then bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Now this tail we can deal with later, so we'll just get that out of the way. Next, what we're gonna do, we're going to be creating a mesh pattern. It's super easy, and it's all it is is a, a double crochet chain one, and we're gonna be working that around the whole cowl. So what we're gonna do is, to get that first double crochet chain one, we're gonna chain four. So the first three chains of that will count as our first double crochet, and then that fourth chain of this chain four we're gonna do is that chain one that's gonna separate. So what we're gonna do is chain four. One, two, three, and four. So then we're gonna skip that first stitch that we see, and then in the next stitch, we're gonna work a double crochet. So if you've never made a double crochet, just wrap yarn around hook, insert it right into the chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on your hook. Okay, so that's the double crochet. Then we're gonna chain one, 
skip the next chain and in the chain after that work a double crochet. So we're just establishing this kind of meshy stitch, okay? Okay, so I worked a double crochet, then we're gonna, get, gonna chain one. One more time, skip the next chain, and the chain after that work a double crochet. Get a little bit more yarn here. Chain one, skip the next chain, and the chain after that work a double crochet once again. So you can see we're establishing a little bit of a, a pattern sequence here. Now this yarn is very kind of fluffy and fuzzy and has some sparkles. Okay, so we're just going to continue around working a double crochet. Chain one. Skip the next chain in the chain after that. Work a double crochet. Then a chain one. Okay, I just want to back up for a moment and look at what we've done so far. So if you look at the beginnings of our capelet cow, you can see we're starting to establish this mesh pattern. And it looks very pretty and it shows the yarn off nicely. And I want to add as a side note that this, um, I'm working this in a solid color, even though it has a little bit of sparkle, it's still a solid color. But this would also be really pretty in a variegated yarn as well. So just keep doing the same sequence. Skip the next chain, work a double crochet in the chain after that. Then chain one, skip the next chain in the chain after that. Work a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next chain in the chain after that. Work a double crochet and a chain one. So I'm gonna continue around the rest of our cowl here. And when we get closer to where we started, uh, we'll rejoin and I'll show you how to transition onto the rest of um, the cowl. This cowl is actually worked, um, our capelet cowl is actually worked in a spiral. So normally when you work rounds, you make a series of chains and then you work the round and then you join and then you make another series of chains and go to the next uh, round. So instead of working uh, round to round to round, this uh, particular uh, piece is going to be worked in a spiral. So we're just going to be making a spiral, a never-ending spiral, if you will. And I'm going to show you as we get towards the end of this this first uh, uh, part of our spiral, I'm going to show you how to move on to the next part and to, how to keep going to the rest of the cow. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the spot that we began. Just going to work that last double crochet chain one. Okay, so we're back to where we started with our chain four. Now, like I said earlier, we have, and just to show you what this looks like so far, we have like a little ring of mesh here that looks really pretty. So if you remember what I said before, we did a chain four at the beginning. Now the first three chains counted as a double crochet, and then that fourth chain counted as one of the chain one that you know separates, like in these other stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to count one, two, three chains up um, in that uh, chain four that you did at the beginning. And what we're going to do is we're going to work a double crochet right into that, okay? So as I mentioned before, this is going to be a spiral. So we're not kind of formally closing the round, we're just going to keep going. So we're going to work a double crochet right into that chain. That third chain up, okay? So just work a double crochet right into that. And what it's going to do is kind of stack on top of there. Then work a chain one. Then we're just going to simply work a double crochet chain one into each double crochet from this previous uh, round, okay? So we're not starting a new round, we're just working this in a spiral, okay? So in that next stitch you come to, and this is really easy because you don't have to um, memorize anything fancy. We're just working a double crochet chain one into each double crochet that you come to. So in that next stitch, work a double crochet, chain one. We'll get some more yarn here. Next stitch, double crochet, chain one. Next stitch, double crochet, 
chain one. Next stitch, double crochet, chain one. So it's very easy, very straightforward, nothing to memorize, and you're just going to keep doing this until your capelet cowl is as tall as you'd like it to be. Now if you don't want it to be a capelet for, per se, uh, you can just make this a large cowl. Um, it's totally up to you. This is, um, by making this uh, wider and taller and drapier, you have the option to kind of pull it down over your shoulders. So it, it is technically still a cow. It's just a large cow that we're going to be making. <clears throat> so in the next stitch, work a double crochet, chain one. Next stitch, double crochet, chain one. So we're just going to keep going all the way around. And then when we get back to where we worked that double crochet back here, you're just going to simply work another double crochet. So it's just going to keep going around and around in a spiral. Okay, so I'm going to keep working this sequence for a while. I'm going to, I'm going to build up my spiral. And then we're going to rejoin uh, once the, the, the spiral is um, a little bit taller. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this very last double crochet. So I did a spiral all the way up, and you can see it's very tall. I got a nice sized um, cowl or capel cowl out of this. Okay, so let's just do that very last double crochet. And as you can see, I only have a teeny tiny bit of yarn left. So what you want to do when you get to the end of your spiral and you put that last double crochet, um, just don't do a, another chain in between. Do the last double crochet and then go into that, that next stitch like you normally would and work a slip stitch. So insert the hook, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook and that's just kind of how you finish it off. So our cow is complete. So what we can do is just fasten off and we'll just have a little tail left. So grab your tapestry needle and I just work this piece until there was no more yarn left. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's turn it inside out. Now, you don't necessarily have to turn it inside out because it is reversible. So it's totally up to you if you just wanna weave your ends in as is. So I'm just gonna thread my tapestry needle and you'll have one end from where you began and one end where you finished your piece. So just take your tapestry needle in one direction and then come back in the other direction. And then you can just take your scissors and trim. And then locate the other tail here that you have. And we can just do the same exact thing for that. Just thread your tapestry needle. And this yarn is pretty um, fuzzy and sparkly, so it's, it's going to hold pretty well, I think. The fuzzies kind of keep it together. Okay, so I just went in one direction, come back in the other direction, and then just trim that tail as well. So our Ocean Shimmer Capelet Cowl, or cowl, however you choose to wear it, is complete. It has a very nice height, and because of the mesh that we did, it has a really fabulous drape as well. And that's it. So let's um, kind of put this in a cowl shape here on the table so you can see. And there's videos at, uh, photos at the beginning of this video too to show you how to kind of style it as well. So that's it. That's how you crochet the Ocean Shimmer Cowl or the Ocean Shimmer Capelet Cowl, however you uh, decide to wear it. It's long enough to pull down over your shoulders or just kind of scrunch up and wear as a cowl. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.